Hey everyone, Rob here from BFG Metalworks slash Backyard Astro. Do any of y'all not have a clear view of the night sky from your backyard? Or maybe you live in an apartment or condo complex and have issues with trying to set up for a nighttime imaging session? Well, in this video, we can briefly talk about some ideas or places to venture out for some nighttime imaging. I'll share a few of mine, including where I'll be tonight. So let's get started. I'm lucky enough to have a backyard, but I do have lots of trees in the way. So instead of just leveling everything down to an open field, tree huggers, take note. I'll just venture out and find certain locations that I can image from without being bothered by other people or even the local authorities. Oh, shit, the police. I have a spot on the mountain that I like to go to, but there are power lines in the way. Great views, but those power lines. I also have a park with some ball fields that I go to as well, but that spot does have a sign out front that states the park is closed after sunset. And well, because I'm rebellious and all, I'll just stay there real late. That's right. What do you think about that? No one ever goes there at night, so I'm not worried. Cops came down one night, but when they saw that I wasn't driving my vehicle around on the fields, tearing things up, they pretty much left me alone for the night. But tonight, I've got permission to image from a cool spot here in the town of New Milford, Connecticut. I'm here tonight in front of the John J. McCarthy Observatory, located at the New Milford High School. I was told that even though it's next to the high school, it's still a public place and I could park here to image. I was also offered the use of their mounting piers on the deck off of the building. They do have cameras here and know what's going on at all times. So no, you can't have any crazy parties here. So just calm down. Toga, 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 So real quick, the John J. McCarthy Observatory is a world-class astronomical observatory located on the campus of the New Milford High School on Route 7 in New Milford, Connecticut. It's a state-of-the-art educational and research facility. It is open to all students, community groups, the general public, educators, and researchers with no charge for its use. The facility is equipped complete with accessibility for the disabled, including a lift for a wheelchair and voice-activated telescope control software. Inside, the primary instrument used at the McCarthy Observatory is a 16-inch Mead Schmidt Cassegrain telescope on a very large equatorial mount installed in the year 2000 and donated by the Ellen Knowles Harcourt Foundation. This foundation was founded in 1962. The Alfred Harcourt Foundation supports close to 80 students and offers over $650,000 in scholarships a year. Also mounted on the Mead mount system is a wide field Takahashi refracting telescope, a five inch Mead refractor and a Corona Do solar telescope for observing detail on solar activity safely. They also have a 90 millimeter solar filter set for higher contrast viewing of the solar events. There's a thousand square foot outdoor observing deck with four telescope piers and light blinds to give visitors a dark sky experience during star party events. Also, there's a 3,000 square foot Galileo's garden adjacent to the outdoor deck. And last, there's a very cool scale solar system that has been put in place. This was installed in 2009. They chose a scale that kept the entire model within the boundaries of the town of New Milford. It's one to three quarter billion scale, whereas Pluto is 4.4 miles away from the human sized sun. The builders took minor liberties with scale so they could place all the elements of the models at spots that are easily accessible to the public. This map is on an information sign near each piece of the model. And you can download an excellent guide from the observatory's website, which I'll link below. 
the guide has longitude and latitude coordinates to program into your GPS so you can easily find them. Except for the sun, each celestial model is mounted on top of a narrow triangular pylon, near eye level for an average adult. Not me, I'm too tall. There's an informational plaque next to it with a small brass plate on its stand. The plate is engraved with a symbol that a visitor can rub onto a passport book as a memento of the visit. These passports were available at the town's library. I'm not sure if they still are anymore. I should say sadly, this installation has been the target of vandals from day one. All the larger pieces have been stolen or broken. The observatory has replaced the original bronze castings with wooden replacements, but even some of these are missing. It's just very sad. It is hoped that it can be replaced in the near future when a foolproof anti-theft security system is also installed so they will not be ruined again. Wikipedia website shows only 38 models exist around the world. Most of them are in major cities. Of the 38 models listed, New Milford's model solar system is ninth of largest. It is the most artistic, classiest, and the most informative. I also wanted to note that the sundial's one-ton polishing granite base is visible in the background. Like the sun's own base, it was donated at the time by Goodrich Aerospace Systems in Danbury, where it was formerly used as a reference plane for making telescope mirrors. They have since changed owners and names since the donation. Hey, so that wraps up the little bit of information on the remote spot that I have chosen for tonight's imaging session. So because I babbled on for so long about where I'm at, I'm just gonna get started with setting my stuff up and firing it up at the night sky. And most of you know from my past videos what it is that I'm gonna be using tonight. Again, it's the only thing I have, the Red Cat 51 with the new ASI Air Plus with all of its buddies attached to it. And from this Bortle 6 sky location, let's see what we can shoot tonight. I hope you enjoy the image at the end of this video on what we got tonight's session. I also wanted to say thanks for just hanging out for a little bit and just listen to uh, some information as to uh, where I'm located tonight uh, at this uh, observatory. So with that, just hang out, see what we get tonight. Thanks. Okay, we're here at the observatory tonight. Just did a polar alignment. Our uh, guiding is uh, multi-star guiding. And it uh, looks like our graph and uh, numbers are looking pretty good tonight. So I just did a test shot and uh, this is what uh, M15 looks like. It's just a, a very cool star cluster. So we're gonna do a few shots of that tonight. And we may even try to shoot Pallides as well. So what I'll do is I'll go to my auto run sequence. I'll hit the little three lines off to the right here. We're gonna call that the hamburger. And I have two shooting schedules. One is I'm gonna do three shots at 10 minute exposures. And <clears throat> we're gonna do 300 second exposure. We're gonna do about 20 of those. I'm not gonna shut down the ASI air and I'm not gonna have it go to home position. I'm just gonna let it stay where it is. All right, so this is what our uh, 120 second test image looked like. And uh, that's kinda cool. It'll look good when it's processed. Looks like we got a little haze going on over there. But I'm also at the, like I said, at the observatory and the ball field lights are still on. I was hoping they would shut those things down by now. So I'm going to make sure our dithering is on. And it looks like it is. So we're going to go back to our auto run here. Just check the guiding one more time. Okay, everything looks happy. Okay. This is claimed it's gonna be about two hours. So, 
we may not let it run that long, but uh, you know what? Maybe I'll change this. Let's just do 10 shots. It gives us an hour. This way I can change to a different target just to play around tonight. All right. Well, we're going to let this run. And uh, see you guys a little bit later. If not, if we don't, then you'll see some final images at the end of this video. All right, have a good night.